They didn't listen to any evil. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how 300 years later, 300 years later they got up. And the Quran mentions the number. وَلَبِثُوا فِي كَهْفِهِمْ ثَلَاثَ مِئَةٍ سِنِينَ وَازْدَادُوا تِسْعًا The Quran says, they stayed in the cave, they slept in the cave for 300 years, and they were increased by nine. Now one might ask, what is this increase of nine? In the Old Testament, the story is mentioned and it is 300 years are spoken about. And in the Quran, the Quran says 300 and an excess of nine. If you take a look at the difference between the solar years and the lunar years, in 300 solar years, you get exactly 309 lunar years. So that is the increase. Someone might read the Bible and find that, you know what, it says here 300 years. And the Quran says 309 years, there is no, there is no contradiction there. Here we are speaking of solar years, and if you multiply it, almost every 35 years you get about a year. So 350 years, you would get 10 years. 300 years, you get 9 years. Allahu Akbar. So 309 years. That is another miracle of the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. Another miracle of the Qur'an. Let me explain you yet another one. Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that... وَتَرَى الشَّمْسَ إِذَا طَلَعَتْ تَزَاوَرُ عَنْ كَهْفِهِمْ ذَاتَ الْيَمِينِ وَإِذَا غَرَبَتْ تَقْرِضُهُمْ ذَاتَ الشِّمَالِ وَهُمْ فِي فَجْوَةٍ مِّنْ If you looked at the sun, you would see when it got up, when it, when it rose, it rose on one side of them, and when it set, it set on the other side. And they were in the center of the cave, the sun did not get to them. Do you know that... When they got up so many years later, they had not aged at all. Because the cave was cool and the sunlight did not even touch them. It is now proven that aging is caused by the sun. Allahu Akbar. Those who work in, indoors, they will look much younger even when they are 40, 50. And those who work in the sun, they will look very old even when they are 25, 30. It's a fact. So the Quran is telling us how these people were protected. Because they stayed away from the sunlight. Now I'm not saying we must all walk around with umbrellas. But alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the lesson from this. That really, this is a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, something else. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَتَحْسَبُهُمْ أَيْقَاضًا وَهُمْ رُقُودٌ When they slept, they slept with their eyes open. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you looked at them, you would have run away. Because it was so scary. From this, some of the ulama say, when a person dies, rather than leaving their eyes open, if their eyes are open, one of their rights over us who are around them alive, is to say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and close the eyes. So that no one is scared of the person. Imagine, someone's passed away, and they're busy looking at you, meaning the eyes are focused on you. Allahu Akbar. May Allah grant us safety and security on the day of Qiyamah. We get frightened of a dead person. What about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is alive, and who is... Always watching us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to fear Him rather than to fear the creatures of Allah.